We are getting a look at new census data this morning, which shows how our labor market is changing. Haley Wynn with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more on the results. So Haley, what are we learning? There's some interesting trends to note. One is that more Canadians 65 and older are working. The data looks at 2015. At some point, one in five older Canadians had to work or chose to work that year. And that percentage has more than doubled over the last two decades. That's an interesting trend. The other we're noting is that fewer men and women are holding full-time positions. Now, this drop we've seen is most acute among men 25 to 54. 11 percent drop is what we're looking at from 2005 to 2015. A variety of factors at play. You could look at the 2008-2009 financial crisis, disruption caused by automation, and a general tendency to see more part-time flexible jobs come online on the market as opposed to full-time positions. In addition to that, services jobs saw some gains over the last decade. Four out of every five jobs in Canada relate to the services sector. And the most common occupation across Canada in 2016 was that of retail salesperson, a group of people who are going to be very busy over the next month, but a role too that's likely going to face some disruption due to automation, mm -hmm. online shopping trends. So I'm sure in the next 10 years, we're going to be looking at a, a even more drastically different labor market and makeup here in Canada. All right, well, we have been warned, I guess then, Haley. Um, all right, turning to a different story here, uh, I guess a national spotlight on Vancouver with Alberta Premier Rachel Notley in Vancouver talking about pipelines. What are we expecting from her visit? We're expecting her to tell the benefits generally the pipelines bring to Canada's economic prosperity. Specifically, we're also expecting her to talk about the specific economic benefits that would be brought about by the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project. She's going to be in good company at a Greater Vancouver Board of Trade event later today. Also making a keynote address is going to be the president of Kinder Morgan Canada, Ian Anderson, as well as Canada's natural resources minister, Jim Carr, all talking about resource development in Canada. Now, Premier Notley has been on a cross-country tour to talk about resource development and specifically to promote Kinder Morgan's project, which, as you know, has faced a lot of opposition here in BC. She will be speaking to business leaders, so it's a different crowd than, say, those who tend to come out to protests mm -hmm. against the project. Uh, but she will be talking about why it should move forward. It does have federal approval, but there have, of course, been some delays related to it. So it's been a pretty strong public relations campaign coming from the Premier of Alberta and it's now coming to Vancouver. All right well we will uh, have the results of that coming up later today on Global uh, BC. Uh, Haley thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you.